Good evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, June 27th, 2017. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, county unemployment numbers were released last week and it's good news all across the state. A Moore County Correctional Officer has been charged with official misconduct. We'll hear from Tullahoma City School Director Dr. Dan Lawson about testing in the state and Tullahoma Mayor Lane Curley will talk about his goals for the city in the upcoming year. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's news leader on 6. Keith Barnett here with the Russell Barnett Automotive family. Over 75% of car shoppers today use the internet to search for their new or pre-owned vehicle. That's why the RussellBarnett.com website is so versatile where you can check it anytime, all the time, online. You can search through our new and pre-owned inventory by make, model, mileage, or price. We can value your trade-in and get you pre-approved for financing before you even walk in the door. So check out RussellBarnett.com and remember, why buy anywhere else? When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Welcome back. Following the lowest state unemployment rate in nearly 20 years, Tennessee's county unemployment rates for May 2017 have decreased in 94 counties and remain the same in one. This according to data released by the Tennessee Department of Labor and Workforce Development Division. Davidson County has the state's lowest major metropolitan rate at 2.1 percent, a decline from 2.7 percent during the prior month. Knox County's rate is 2.5 percent, decreasing from April's 3.1 percent. Hamilton County declined from its previous month's rate of 3.6 to 2.9 percent, while Shelby County has an unemployment rate of 3.5 percent, a decrease from 4.4 percent in April. Ray County's 5.1% unemployment rate makes it the only area in the state with an unemployment rate above 5% in May. However, that figure represents a 1.5% drop from its revised April 2017 rate, one of the largest rate decreases for the month. The remaining 94 counties have unemployment rates of 4.8% or lower. Cannon County was the only area not experiencing any change. Closer to home, Coffee, Franklin, and Warren counties reported jobless rates of 3% in May, while Bedford County rates stood at 3.4%. Moore County's rate was 2.8%, and Lincoln County had the immediate area's lowest rate at 2.6%. Vicki Fulmer, Executive Director of the Tullahoma Senior Citizen Center, stopped by our studios to tell us about some of the activities coming up at the center. You guys over there just do such a great job of getting people up and moving and thinking. Yes. A lot of it's mental as well. It is, and we we have lots of folks that come, you know, they may just be in for pool or they may come in for exercise or dance, line dance or cards, but it's it, they come and go as they please. It's not unusual to see them start the day out with us, then go home, mm -hmm. and then be back later. Mm -hmm. So it, it's great, and then they're, it's a very interesting group, mm -hmm. very interesting. And uh, I, I think you guys just started some sort of dance class, didn't you? Yes. What kind of dances it's are you doing? It's a social there? ballroom dance that uh, Valerie yeah. um, and Dennis have started, and that's on Tuesday afternoons. Peggy's a um, big participant in that, mm -hmm. and so it's it's going well. And then, of course, we have line dance that uh, Peggy Lewis teaches, and then we have partner dance that Wanda Dick t teaches. Yeah. And then we have exercise throughout the week. And So if you don't have a partner, will you find them one, or how does that work? I, I, I think Wanda will work on that. Yeah, and then okay. the social dance does not require a partner. I so, see. But, you know, the partner dance with Wanda, I, I probably don't need to answer that because I'm not <laughs> sure how it works. <laughs> okay. But, um, anyway, um, and then line dance, of course, you don't have to have a partner, right. but it's a great thing. So. You see their number there on the screen, 455-2504. Uh, so I'm assuming that uh, they can call that number to get more information yes. about any of those activities yes. if they'd like to. And we have door prizes on Thursday and Friday. We have um, we have a big lunch on Thursday and a big lunch on Friday. So we just hope folks will come down and 
join us. Okay. And if you don't, if you don't, uh, if you need, really would like to find out more about any of those activities we're talking about, just give uh, Vicki a call at the Senior Citizen Center, or I suppose anybody can probably yes, over there absolutely. can, can uh, give you information about that and find out what you can do to get yourself out. Uh, the social aspect of it is probably as important as anything else. Absolutely. That, it know, really so is. That you don't just sit home by yourself. You no. get out there and be get somewhere. involved in something. Yes. Be exactly. somewhere. I guarantee you it'll be a lot of fun, folks, because uh, Vicki is a fun, fun person, well, and that she's the instigator of a lot of these things that <laughs> well, happen. So well, there. thank you. <laughs> Vicki, thank you so All much right, for coming you. by today. Folks, give them a, number, a call at 455-2504 and find out what's going on at your Senior Citizen Center in Tullahoma. they got lots of fun activities. You need to be a part of that. An investigation by special agents with the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation has resulted in the indictment and arrest for a former Moore County Correctional Officer. TBI special agents had been working with the Moore County Sheriff's Office in investigating the allegations. During the course of the investigation, agents developed information that Correctional Officer Shane Hopkins did have sexual contact with a female inmate between January and May 2017. Hopkins is no longer employed by the Moore County Sheriff's Office. Last Friday, the Moore County Grand Jury returned indictments charging Hopkins with five counts of sexual contact with an inmate and 20 counts of official misconduct. TBI special agents arrested Hopkins. He was booked into the Moore County Jail on a $50,000 bond. And we'll be right back with more News Leader on 6. Here at Manchester Funeral Home, we know the importance of living and working in our local community because it's those families who we serve during their time of need honorably. We believe in supporting local business and offer only 100% Batesville caskets, the best in the industry and a driver of our local economy. If you want straightforward and fair pricing while working with the people you know, choose Manchester Funeral Home, serving your community since 1932. And pre-planning and pre-funding can be the best gift you ever leave your loved ones. Call us to pre-arrange. Manchester Funeral Home. Our family, caring for your family since 1932. Welcome back. Tom Corrington spoke recently with Dr. Dan Lawson about how the testing process is going in the Tennessee educational system. Uh, one other subject that we ought to touch on that uh, is a perennial, and that is uh, testing. And he, I haven't heard much about that either, but it's a dangling participle still out there somewhere. Oh, if it were only a participle. Yeah, here's, <laughs> here's our challenge with testing. Uh, testing is a program that, that cost our state uh, millions of dollars every year. And certainly if we're going to make that kind of investment, last year we looked at over $20 million that we invested. If we're going to make that kind of investment, we want something tangible that we can hold and ideally that we can use with our kids. Uh, last year, by all counts, we had an abysmal failure. The firm that was employed to assess students in the state of Tennessee was fired by the Tennessee Department of Education. And so we're now uh, restructuring and now attempting to retest with basically the same standards, the same questions, but provided by a different uh, carrier, provided by a different firm. One of the things that we tried to do last year was to assess online. And online assessment is not new for most of us. We've seen that in a lot of venues, but our upstream carrier couldn't support uh, roughly 600,000 kids trying to test last year. So the system crashed. And with that corresponding crash, we rolled out this year with a pilot for online assessments. But most of the assessments that take place are going to be paper, pencil, much like the assessments that were used when I was in school several decades ago. Uh, your follow-up question ought to be, can't we do better than that? I was just going to say, you know, how long has this been going on? 
yeah, uh, and, and Tom, you've captured it well. We can do better than that. Uh, we do better than that in a lot of venues and a lot of places. We provide online service today and online assessment today, but when they go back into one pot at the state level, and then when that pot has to push into their value-added matrices, it becomes more complex and it becomes more cumbersome. And the real challenge with that is we end up testing only for accountability and the value of the test for the consumer, for the student and for the parent becomes minimal because they don't get feedback in a timely manner. And the teachers, like Susan, aren't able to take those data and then reframe the instruction for any value. It's just about accountability. Mm -hmm. We could and should do better, and we certainly hope we get that way. Tullahoma has worked a lot to see the testing be focused on the ACT suite. Now, it's not because we have some partnership mm -hmm. with ACT. It's because when I think about my three kids and they're attending Tullahoma High School, there were two tests that really meant anything to them. One determined whether or not they were going to drive. And the second test that meant anything to them was their ACT, because it determined where they were going to go to college and how much money they would get in terms of scholarships. And that ACT meant something in Tullahoma or in Tallahassee. The challenge with 10 Ready or a local grown test is you don't have that portability and once you leave the community, you don't know what those norms mean. So that's why we've been a big proponent of ACT and we hope that at some point in time, logic prevails and others see the light, if you will. And the ACT is being used, how are you got to count? How many states are still? You know, in, in terms of states that use the ACT as that indicator of progress, that ACT suite, it's probably less than 10. In terms of colleges that use the ACT, everyone in the nation does. We'll be right back after these messages. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. Get to Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Celebrate America's independence at Tullahoma Scenic Fraser McEwen Park, Monday, July 3rd. Gates open at 3 p.m. and world-class fireworks start at 9. This free event has music and fun for everyone. Tribute bands featuring the music of Chicago, Steely Dan, Tom Petty, and more. Plus a kid's zone, exotic animal petting zoo, food, fun, and games. Get the details at TullahomaTN.gov forward slash fireworks. Everyone is invited to enjoy the Tullahoma Kiwanis Independence Day Regional Celebration. July 3rd, Fraser McEwen Park, Independence Day Celebration celebration and fireworks. Welcome back. As the Tullahoma Board of Mayor and Aldermen nears completion of the budget for the upcoming year, Mayor Lane Curley summarizes the accomplishments of the past year and plans for the new year. Thanks to the help of many, Tullahoma has accomplished much in the past year and have much to look forward to this next fiscal year. The Go Green Tullahoma Initiative works to increase recycling and energy efficiency. At Tullahoma Utility Authority's suggestion, all street lights will convert to LED lighting within the year, saving energy, maintenance, and resources. The Get Fit Tullahoma initiative has seen much success as well. The walk to the beach and walk across Tennessee by Parks and Rec were very successful, and we will soon see extensions to our Greenway system. Splash Island and the renovated Joe Moon Weight Room and other fitness in initiatives stress health and fitness. Public Works and Planning and Codes have developed a comprehensive Clean Up Tullahoma campaign that not only stresses roadside litter pickup, but the clearing of dilapidated structures as well. 
I am convinced people want to live in clean communities, and I'm confident people that want to invest in our community want to invest in clean and attractive communities. The Arts Council is working hard to position Tullahoma as an arts destination. They recently completed a first-time successful downtown art crawl and have more art-centered activities to come. This year, I want us to focus on tourism. Tourism is, the, tourism is the second largest industry in Tennessee, and Tennessee recently cracked the top 10 states in tourism spending. We do a pretty good job attracting tourists without even trying, but I know we can do better with a focused strategic effort. I suggest we think not just locally, but regionally, and develop partnerships within our five county area to better attract and retain tourists. I have, included, I have included a modest amount of money in this budget to implement tourist generating campaigns. I believe this small investment will pay big dividends. Other good news in the city this past year, TAEDC secured a $280,000 site development grant to improve the new business air park, as well as develop a new eight-page brochure to market the site. Over 95% plus of Tullahoma citizens are employed, 169 business licenses were issued, retail sales and new home starts are up. Tullahoma High School's ACT scores exceeded both state and national averages with our school system one of the top 10 school districts in the state, and our Board of Education was recognized as a Tennessee Board of Distinction. Students led Middle Tennessee in top 10 math winners in regional competition, and two of the three Tullahoma Teachers of the Year were named regional winners. TUA successfully transitioned to an authority and refinanced electric fiber debts with interest rates reducing from 4.25% to 1.99%. The TVA Wastewater Treatment Facility earned a $102,000 energy efficiency grant, and TVA received the Excellence in Water Treatment Operations Award. The Telma Regional Airport earned the Tennessee Aeronautics Commission's Airport of the Year Award, sold an all-time record of fuel, and completed over $1 million in improvements. Your city government completed $375,000 <laughs> in low-income housing repairs. Governor Haslam once again named Tullahoma as a healthier Tennessee community, and the Finance Department earned national awards for distinguished budgeting and financing reporting. The city's building codes are being updated. The Police Department has collected over one ton of prescription medicine in the drug take-back program. The Fire Department installed over 2,000 free smoke detectors over the years. The downtown renovation project was completed, and Public Works Recycling Program collected over 6,000 tons, saving nearly $300,000 in disposal fees. Parks and Rec installed new fitness and playground equipment at Imagination Station, Wagner Park, and East Park, and introduced a very successful regional Independence Day celebration. The Tullamore Micropolitan Area is now ranked 18th in the country. We earned the Tree City designation for the 20th year in a row, and oh, we had an inspired recovery from an EF1 tornado. Our chief job as Mayor and Alderman is to define our community's vision and inspire the community to help reach the vision. It is critical we keep our eyes on our bold vision for telling me to be considered world class in everything we do. From job creation to cleanliness to high school graduation rates and everything in between, I want Tullahoma to be the best and considered a world class community. There appears to be a great deal of confidence in Tullahoma, both from citizens already here and from outsiders looking to invest here. And many more exciting things are on the drawing board. By growing Tullahoma, diverse jobs will be created from entry level to the professional level. Much of the positive actions I presented are by city government and affiliated agencies. There are countless acts of goodwill that quietly happen every day by Tullahoma citizens, businesses, churches, and organizations that truly make a positive difference in the lives of all Tullahomans. Thanks everyone for all you do to make Tullahoma a great place to work, live, and raise our families. We should all be challenged by these three thoughts. Number one, great cities are intentional, not accidental. In other words, we must have a plan and take strategic steps to accomplish our plan. Number two, why can't Tullahoma be the best? Some city is going to be the best, why not Tullahoma? We should always strive to be the best in everything we do. Number three, if you really love Tullahoma, you have to help make Tullahoma better. We all have opportunities to improve Tullahoma, whether through your school, job, civic club, church, neighborhood, or household. Get involved, make a difference, leave Tullahoma better than when you found it. In summary, Tullahoma is truly a blessed community. We have so much to be thankful for and so much to look forward to. 
While it truly is a great day to be in Tullahoma, let's always remember we can make a great community even greater. Let's leave Tullahoma better than we found it by the work we do and the decisions we make. Lane Curley, Mayor. Okay. <clears throat> More news later on 6 is coming up in a moment. Dr. Credit here from Russell Barnett Kia. Are you needing a vehicle but don't think it's possible because of your current credit situation? Great news, it is possible. But don't just take it from me. Here's a few of our satisfied customers and what they had to say. Not only did they take the time to get to know me and my wants, they found me someone to finance me with my bad credit and got me the car of my dreams. Dr. Credit, come see him, he's great. He can help you, I know he can, he helped me. Schedule your appointment with Dr. Credit at Russell Barnett Kia so you can drive away happy. All I have to do to think about what I was physically before and what I am now, and I don't ever want to go back to that original situation. The overall mission of the rehab team is always what is best for the patient and how we can facilitate maximum potential from every resident. Well, the most important thing to me is that I'm allowed to do whatever I need, want to do, you know. Everyday Miracles at Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Welcome back. John Schneider, who headlined the 25th anniversary Southern Wheels in Motion car show last week, entertained club members at an event Friday night prior to Saturday's show. Let's watch as he performs his latest single, Ruffled Skirts. He sits on his front porch, stares across the street. Water's rising fast, nearly up to his feet. Neighbor passes by, says it's time to get out.
And don't forget to tune into this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evening at 6.30 p.m. This week's guests include Tullahoma Community Coordinator Winston Brooks, who will invite everyone out to Tullahoma's Independence Day celebration on Monday. Bunny Hawkersmith is offering a new boot camp program to help get the kids off the couch this summer. And we'll speak with Brandon from the Fly Arts Center in Shelbyville about their upcoming Christmas in July play. All that and more on this week's living. And stay with us, we'll have your weather forecast right after these messages. The Russell Barnett Automotive family has launched its new Owner Advantage program. It starts as simple as, your first year's maintenance is included with the purchase. We have one year, three year, five year plans available. Car detailing, car rental, collision repair. Stop by one of our five locations and let one of our certified sales staff tell you all about it. The Russell Barnett Automotive Family Advantage program. And remember, my question is, why buy anywhere else? It's your trademark. That's something special everyone knows and remembers. It's your thing. It's made holidays special for decades. And summer's unforgettable for the entire neighborhood. It's made everyone laugh every single time. Don't let illness or injury keep you from doing your thing. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift. Quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor, Stat. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1952 at 100 degrees. The record low was in 1958 at 50 degrees. The average high on this day is 87 and the average low is 64. Clear weather expected tonight with a low of around 60. Mostly sunny weather in the forecast for Wednesday with a high of 84 and a low of 67. Partly cloudy weather expected on Thursday with a high of 82 and a low of 68. And that's our news leader report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great evening.